Before I get into Benfica versus Rangers, I think um, I should certainly say something about the Edmondson Jones thing. Just to keep it very short and sweet. I think the club has handled things excellently. Uh, they've dealt with it swiftly. They've suspended both players, which is the correct thing. Uh, and I don't feel either player should play for the club again. Simple as that. Uh, moving on. Uh, Benfica versus Rangers, both teams with a 100% record so far. Something had to give. A draw would be a very good result for Rangers, but there was always a chance of a win tonight. No goals conceded so far in Europe, and this defence is the foundation of Rangers run in Europe. And domestically, uh, and domestically, I win here tonight, and surely Rangers will progress to the round of 32. Benfica have never lost at home in Europa League, but Standard had a similar run to this, and were beaten by Steven Gerrard's Rangers. To be honest, when I seen this group, I felt this is a group Rangers should progress from. Uh, 1-0 Benfica almost immediately Hollander makes a big mistake under pressure his clearance is poor then he misses the balls it comes back in and it's an own goal from Goldson nothing he could do about that a minute gone all Benfica Rangers need to try and ride the wave and get on the ball and try and get into the game Aribo tries to get something going for Rangers three minutes later the ball in was poor though Benfica almost got the second goal great counter-attack from the Rangers corner Everton played in Pizzi McGregor was beaten but the ball whistled past the post ten minutes gone Stephen spoke about the, every team having its weakness and it seems like Benfica are exposing the Rangers defence, getting in the, those spaces that the fullbacks leave behind. Rangers need to try and stay in the game. Benfica are pressing Rangers. Rangers really can't get anything going. Benfica could easily have had a second goal in 17 minutes, but luckily for Rangers, Seferovic couldn't do anything. Benfica are down to 10 men. Otamendi sent off on 18 minutes, a ball over the top by Davis. Kent was in a clear goal scoring opportunity. Clever by Kent to draw the foul and a red card. And the opportunity from the free kick for a goal here. This would turn the game on its head. Uh, the free kick went into the wall. 1 1, Rangers level five minutes later. Jack to Davis into Tavernier. He cuts it across goal and Goncalves slashes the ball into his own net. 2 1, Rangers a minute later. Brilliant counter attack. Tavernier into Rebo, into Morelos. Plays a lovely switch of play into Kamara, who drills Rangers in front. Really composed finish into the bottom left-hand corner. You don't normally see Kamara shoot, but he's turned this game on its head. No question the red guard card turned the game, because Benfica were well on top and could have probably run right at that point. But you had to take the advantage, and boy had Rangers done that. Almost three and a half hour mark, Rangers so comfortable with the ball. Lovely ball in by Barisic, and Aribo's header misses the far post. Barisic drives forward four minutes later, takes the shot on, not far away of his weaker foot. Benfica seemed to have settled down. Tavernier very close to find Morelos in 43 minutes, but the outstretched leg of Vertonghen saved Benfica. And Kamara then threads Morelos through and Vertonghen slides in to stop him. Half time at the Estadio de Luz. 3-1 on 50 minutes, Goldson drives forward, slots in Tavernier, drives the ball across goal, lays it on a plate. It was clever play by Morelos. He makes sure he stays on side and taps in goal number three and the goal that beats Ali McCoy's European goal record. So well done to El Buffalo for that. Rangers have exposed Benfica's high line time and time again since the red card. Rafa Silva eases his way past the Rangers defence three minutes later, but his finish was poor. Brilliant run, but not the finish. Important Rangers keep their concentration and again, if there's more chances, take them. Almost uh, almost again there by Rangers, super play by Tavenier, drives forward and almost played a brilliant give and go Morelos. And then again, it was almost 4 and 62 minutes, Barisic wins the ball, good pressing, finds Morelos, plays a lovely pass into Jack, who threaded through Kent, who gets into position but the shot hits the outside of the post. Nice play again by Rangers, Morelos plays a good pass to Rebo, who then drove forward, found Kent, who curled a shot wide on 67 minutes. Would have been a great goal two minutes later, lovely 1-2 played with Tavernier and Arfield, but Tavernier couldn't quite get there. Benfica have a goal back on 76 minutes. Nunez almost in from the quick free kick. McGregor gets to the ball before him and then Hollander makes a mistake and Nunez rolls the ball across goal to Rafa Silva. It was really cheap. Rangers were going to need to see this out with five minutes to go. Morelos nearly in for four on 86 minutes. He first played in Kent who eventually finds finds him and I think it was Tavernier uh, he finds with the He's back to go, finds Morelos, but the keeper was out sharply to deny him. Poor game management by Rangers, though. They didn't kind of hold on to the ball and try to keep it in Benfica's half. They still tried to press forward, and they, there was a few kind of loose passes, and Rangers were punished for this. Um, two points dropped in the end. Darwin Nunez was uh, slid through. It was a lovely pass through to him, and he slid past Alan McGregor in 91 minutes. No chance for McGregor to stop that. Uh, but this should never have happened. Poor game management. It was apparently Arfield that gave away the ball. So, 
you would normally think that um, getting a draw against a team that is unbeaten in Europa League in 24 matches would be a great result. But when they've had 10 men from the 20th minute, you're 3 1 up, you're looking comfortable. This was put two points dropped. Simple as that. Um, so just got to bounce back against Hamilton on Sunday and uh, hope for the best. Anyway, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video.